Hey what's up guys and welcome to another video and today I've got a really nasty car for you guys and it's in for a full detail and it's a 2014 Ford Fiesta. You gotta keep in mind this is a mom's everyday use car and she also has two kids younger than 10 years so just remember that when you see the interior and before starting with the video don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any future videos like this and without any further ado let's get detailing. Alright, so as the first step, we're going to start by pre-rinsing the car to get rid of any contaminants like dirt, grime, mud, brake dust, and many more built over the time, and this one had plenty of it as it had not been washed in years. And the car might look clean in these shots, but that's because I went for a second round just to make sure I didn't miss any spots, and it's not necessary, but that's just me. And just by looking at the color of the water, you can easily see how dirty and nasty these carpet over wheels were. And here's a perfect example of how the carpeted wheel wheels hold most of the dirt and mud as the front ones were plastic and the water looked a lot more clear. And just to make sure the tire was all clean, I went ahead and gave it another pass. And as you can see, the foam was coming all white, so that means we're all ready to go. And as you can see, I use a variety of brushes for this step, starting with the long soft bristle brush for the wheel wheels, second using a hard bristle brush for the tires, and then using this long soft bristle for the interior of the wheels, and lastly using a soft detailing brush for the face of the wheels.
Just for those of you wondering, I did change the factory orifice nozzle for this foam cannon and got a 1.1 millimeter, and that's how I got it to be this foamy. And after having all the foam in the car, I go all the one with the soft bristle brush to attack all the small details that the washing mitt will miss because of its size. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Alrighty, now it's time to dry all the car and clean and dry all the door jams as well. Alright, and after cleaning and drying all the door jams, it's now finally time to move into the interior. And we're gonna do so by getting all the big items, trash, personal items out of the vehicle, just so we don't have them in the way whenever vacuuming. And now a quick little note, before unplugging your cables from the seats, you want to make sure you have your negative from your battery disconnected and whenever you're done with the detail, make sure you plug them in first and then connect your battery again. And that will avoid any airbag warning lights. And now here's a quick little transformation. Okay, and I think I just found third place for coins collected. 
but if you want to see first place that it was also a small but a huge disaster video i'll leave the link in the top right hand Okay, now when I get these type of carpets that just love to hold all the debris, I like to use the drill brush attachment to get most of the debris out and get this carpet as clean as I can. I see it now, I see it now. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to do so and click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any future videos like this. And here's another transformation so you guys can see how just from vacuuming it can go from this to this. And just for those of you wondering, I'm using the rigid 4 gallon portable vacuum which has a 5.0 peak 
horsepower motor, which provides powerful performance compared to bigger and more expensive vacuums. And I have all the links to the tools I use in the videos in the description box below. So make sure you go check it out if you're interested. And this interior was covered in dust and debris. So I grabbed myself a soft detailing brush in the vacuum to get rid of all of that before cleaning it. And since I had the two front seats out, I went ahead and took care of that so they could be ready and dry whenever I was done with the detail. Okay, now having all the seats vacuumed and extracted, it's now time to clean all the trims from the interior. And if you want to see any sneak peeks or behind the scenes, go ahead and follow my Instagram as I usually post a few every week. And when it comes to cleaning the interior, I love to detail the steering wheel and especially the filthy ones like this. And I do so by using my choir's APC and my color lock brush and a microfiber towel.
okay now this mid console was really dirty and full of grime so I just went ahead and used my streamer so it could be a lot easier and save me some time And as you can see, even with the steamer, it took me a little while to take all that out, but with a little effort and time, the end results are amazing. And after cleaning all the interior trims, it's now time to protect them and give them a new and shiny look. And I do so by using 303 Aerospace UV Protectant. Alright and now to get all the floor mats and carpets clean I use Chemical Guys Aligning Fast Carpet Solution and then agitate with the drill brush and finally use the extractor to get all the dirty solution and water out.
Alrighty, now moving back to the exterior, it's now time to dress all the tires and clean any overspray from the face of the wheels. Alrighty now, since this is everyday used car and she knew it was going to get dirty again, she didn't want anything special on the paint. So I just went ahead and used Last Touch Up Spray Detailer which has a really shiny and glossy look to it. Alright and as you guys can tell this video has finally come to an end. I really hope you enjoy this transformation. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.